Mecca at the dawn of Islam is the Mecca where the Blessed Prophet Muhammad والسلام, grew up. It is the Mecca where the first revelations of the Quran were revealed. The holy city's borders are beyond just the town around the Kaaba, but rather also holds within them Mount Arafat, Mount Hira, and Mount Thor. For a decade, the early Muslims were oppressed, persecuted, tortured, and boycotted for nothing more except their faith, for testifying that there is no God except Allah and the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. To the east of the city, we see the location of Mount Arafat, with Ghar Thor or Cave Thor to its west, just north of the city, and to the east and northeast we see where Mina is, and above it, the Cave of Hira. The Kaaba covers, called the Kiswa, at the time were various high-quality fabrics of different colors draped over its walls. The Zemzem well water is raised here for illustration, but is usually far lower and deeper in the well. They also had constructed two basins, which they filled with water next to the well. The one closest to the Kaaba was used for drinking, and the one furthest from the Kaaba, next to the well, was used for washing. The southern half of Mecca had the homes of the two most prominent companions of the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq the first of the rightly regarded caliphs whom even prior to Islam was the Prophet's closest companion. To his west, at the base of Mount Umar, was the home of Al-Khattab where the great Umar ibn Al-Khattab the second of the rightly guided caliphs was born and raised. Moving north towards the heart of Mecca, we have the two Ajad valleys to our east and the Kaaba centered in the valley of Mecca. To the west of the Kaaba, we have Dar al Nadwa, which was their house of congress where all major decisions were made in a meeting that would include all the top noblemen of Quraysh. To the south of the Kaaba, we see the home of Umhan, anha, which was where the Prophet Muhammad was awakened and taken on the miraculous journey of Al-Isra and Mi'raj. To her east are the homes of Abdullah ibn Jal'an, where the Fudul Pact had taken place when the Prophet Muhammad was 15 years old. And further into the Ajad Wadi, we see the home of Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt, one of the Prophet's severest enemies. Further to his east is the home of Abi Al-As and his wife, Zainab radiallahu anha, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. In the opposite valley to their north is the home of the wickedly evil Abu Jahl. <laughs> 